everyone in today's video I want to share with you how you can make these components these are super fast and super awesome to work with the technique used in this project is right angle weave my favorite of course and um, today I want to share with you how I made these earrings and also I will be showing you samples of the bracelet that I did okay let's start with the pink one to make the pink bracelet I used eight components to make a bracelet and two for the earrings so this component uses up six millimeter pearls three millimeter rondelles and of course some 11 -0 seed beads and also a round bead faceted round bead for the drop or from the end of my earring and then I used a box clasp for this pretty bracelet okay I joined these components together to make this bracelet and the earring now to show you this component the same component of course the idea is a little different with the bracelet that I just joined them in a different way and I used a toggle made a toggle in the clasp I mean a toggle clasp of course to make this bracelet in the component uh, in this uh, component I made this using four millimeter bicons three millimeter rondelles and I'm sorry four millimeter pearls three millimeter rondelles and a four millimeter bicon on top of it and then I also used a crystal drop to end the earring so this is just what I made out of this um, um, component at the end of this video no not the end I'll show you right here this is what I made out of the same component in my next video I'm going to show you how you can make this earring we'll also talk about making it into a necklace okay in maybe in some of my next videos I'll show you how we can make a necklace out of the same component in this color combination because I have a few dresses in blue and black and uh, i mean i absolutely adore this color so gunmetal and blue just works fine for me so i will be making a demo of a necklace made of the same pattern later on in the week so without wasting much time let's get started with the project for the component you're going to need a um, six millimeter monty and then four six millimeter pearls and of course some 11-0 silver metallic silver 11-0s uh, okay so uh, if you watch these two components closely I did not use a Monty in between them because I didn't have a small Monty but on this project I'm going to use a Monty of course the addition of a Monty and a bicon on a right angle weave pearl round is a absolutely the same on this one I used a pearl and on this one I used a bicon so if you don't have a Monty that is so small you can like me use a pearl or maybe a bicon on or maybe any other round bead of your choice in this bracelet over here you can see that I used a four millimeter rondelle crystal so of course you will of course to make this component you'll need needle and thread so to get started pick up the four pearls carry them to the end of your thread and tie a knot a couple of good knots would do At this point here, wick. At this point here, you can trim off your tail thread. So so 
I have my pearl in a right angle weave and then I'm going to go into one of them okay in this way now what you're going to do is you're going to do the top part okay to do that what you're going to do is you're going to pick up an 11 go into two of the holes that's lying exactly horizontal to you in this way okay you gotta go in this way and then into one more seed bead pull them tight drop them next to each other and then just because your thread is coming upwards you're gonna go into the front uh, pearl in an upward motion So we got one side of the Monty attached onto the next side. I'm going to pick up an 11. Go into the Monty. I mean the holes of the Monty. I'm going to go into this part here. And then I need to watch from, yeah, just came out of there. So I picked up a seed bead and then I went into the other hole of the Monty so to finish my embellishment I'm going to pick up an 11 and go into the same pearl okay in this way so my thread was initially coming out of this way I went in this way into this pearl and then I came out and took in a um, 11 went into this corner or this hole of my Monty and then I picked up one more 11 and I came down so what I did was I went in this way and then down and then in this way and then down again I just crisscross so in the same way you can add in a bicon or a round bead so now that I'm done here I'm gonna pick up an 11 go into the next six millimeter Pick up an 11, go into the next 6 millimeter. Pick up an 11, go into the next 6 millimeter. Pick up an 11 and go into the next 6 millimeter. So what we did was we just went into the gaps between the poles. So I'm now going to come out of this 11-0. When I'm working around with uh, a 6mm and 11 O's, I know that I need to pick up 7 beads. With, um, let me talk about it a little more here. In this one here, I used 4mm bicons. Uh, sorry, 4mm uh, pearls. But, on in between them, I used rondelles. Okay, these are 3mm rondelles. So the in-between seeds from one rondelle to the other were only five eleven o's okay but when i was working with a six millimeter i used seven beads so with this one here as well i know that i need to pick up seven beads only so i picked up seven eleven o's and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into the next eleven In this way, you're going to pick up seven more. Whatever amount you want to put, you can do, but make sure that it's odd. You need to pick up odd number of beads. So four, five, six, and seven. And go into the next 11. Pick up one, two, three, four, five, Six and seven and go into the next 11 pick up one two three four five six and seven beads 
and go into the first 11 that we just added. Okay, so this is it. Don't worry about those little gaps that you see that won't be seen when we are done with the other embellishments. So I'm coming out of the first in between seeds between the pearls, that is the 11. Now I'm going to go into four of my 11s. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up three 11 O's. Just because I'm coming out of this one here, I'm going to go into the same bead in a round so that I make myself a little picot of beads. See? Now I need to go into the next three beads and then into the next four. I'm going to pick up three more elevens and then again I'm going to make a picot. in this way and then again I'm going to go into three more I mean four more and then out into the next four we are always trying to come out of the middle bead of those seven beads that we had added in in our last step again three more beads and just make it into a small picot now going to the next four beads and into the next four of our next round and I'm going to pick up three more beads and then here And I'm done with my component it's all pretty it's all shiny and I just love this component now if you were to make this into an earring what you would do is on the last round over here when we added in three beads for the last picot you're going to be picking up four beads so that you have some space to add in your earring finding okay if you can see here I added in four beads as well and on the newest earring that I made out of the same component I added in six beads just to hang my ear wire over here so this is um, just what I was talking to you about my pretty component I hope that you are you find some inspiration from this from this component you get to learn a new stitch and maybe uh, something that is useful for you from this video so give it a thumbs up if you like it and please subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment i'll write down everything that i know about this project in the description box and also i promise to make four videos this month because in the next month i won't be staying here at home i'm moving up to the states so maybe i'll have to wait for some time before i can start off with my video series so i hope you stay tuned with my channel support my channel by subscribing and thank you so much if i make some mistakes in the videos with my speaking ability then please sorry i say sorry to you guys because it's english is not my mother language guys it's just that i'm an indian so <laughs> so i hope you forgive me for that and um give me suggestions uh, if you want some improvement in my videos or anything that you think that i should change in my videos then please leave me a comment in the comment section below and i hope you like it and thanks for watching this video i'll see you next time bye